What is going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So due to popular demand, I got messages on my Instagram, posts on my wall. Um, everybody wants me to do a stock and dividend analysis in British and American tobacco. And if I would consider buying uh, British American tobacco and if it's a good stock to buy. So I already did a video on Altria and compared Altria and Philip Morris. Uh, those are two really good stocks for dividends. What about British American Tobacco? That's another competitor with these guys. So let's look at this stock. Let's look at how it's done. And, um, you know, it's, it's really interesting that, um, you know, I would consider this, I, I don't know if you would call this a sin stock, but, you know, people love their tobacco. And that's very, um, you know, I don't promote it. But people don't care. They're going to smoke anyways. The COPD is high. Um, you know, arthrosclerosis. You know, people people have all these comorbidities and they smoke. They don't care. And it's very sad. Um, but, you know, these stocks give off great dividends. And, you know, they are in demand. Very popular stocks, too. And they're down. So let's look at British American Tobacco uh, right now. Okay, British American Tobacco is at $33.84 right now. Um, it is down 2.35%. As you can tell, their, com their competitors, Altria and Philip Morris, uh, $39.70 for Altria. Philip Morris, $79.14. So let's, let's look at British American Tobacco real quick. So Day range is right around $33.65. The year range is $27 and uh, $27.32. And, and then the year range is $45.60. So let's look at these guys real quick. So first of all, you know, why are these guys down? I always look at where they're down. I see a very high dividend yield and that raises red flags to me. But when you see a high dividend yield, you need to do more digging why it's like that. So first of all, British American uh, Tobacco, just reading this, it has operations in 180 countries, cigarette brands, Dunhill, Kent, Lucky Strike, Pal, Mal, and Rothams, and I can't even, and some of these others. So it is a constituent of the FTSE 100 index as a secondary listing on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. And its ordinary shares are also listed on the New York Stock Exchange in the form of American depository shares. So, okay, let's look at their revenue. This is what I wanna see if I want to invest in these guys and put them in my M1 Finance portfolio. Already, I'm, I already said in my previous video, I'm gonna have Philip Morris and them and I already have Altria. Let's see what we got with these guys. 2015 revenue was down 10.27%. I'm going to compare it against the S&P shortly too. Uh, net income, okay. Revenue's gone up. 2016 revenue's gone up. 2017, 2018 revenue's gone up. 2019, okay, so 24.49. So revenue has gone up each year. So the dividends, well, we'll look at the dividends, but the price per share is down and the revenue has gone up. Okay, so that's pretty attractive right now. Okay, and it's down. That's what I like. It's down, and then we need to look into this. So. Let's see what they got, um, what they're capable of real quick. Let's check their dividend history. You know what, let's check the S&P real quick and how they've done. So since inception in 94, British American Tobacco has been pretty, the S&P has done pretty well against it. So British American Tobacco was up 389.81% to 2004. 505.66%. So it's losing against the S&P, but let's look and see how its dividend is and if its dividend looks good or if it's, uh, or, or if I should consider it or 
you know, we should consider that since we're watching this video. Okay, so it's slowly increasing its dividend. Now, I, I just like pause like three times doing this stock analysis video. I think I'm going to put that in my M1 Finance portfolio. You know, it's, um, you know, the nice thing about a dividend investing community and having a YouTube channel is you share your thoughts and then somebody will make a comment and share their thoughts. And it's like, hmm. You know, you, you just stop for a second and, and just do that, hmm. Okay, so raising its price, it's down, high dividend yield. It, it says on here it's a 7.62. I think I'm, I'm going to add that. I'm going to actually change the percentage. I'm going to add that. Um, you know, just because you guys making a comment and myself just doing a stock and dividend analysis on this, I'm going to add this. I like that. Um, I'll post a video next week. Uh, you know, on what I did and some changes I did to my M1 Finance dividend portfolio. The dividends are starting to come in, but, you know, stocks like these, I kind of call it the 25 share rule. So I get 25 shares and then I switch to the next one. I need to put these guys in. I really do. That looks like it's, um, you know, the revenues increase, it's down. It's, it's kind of reminds me of at and I mean, at and in demand. Um, I like it. I'm gonna put some. I, I'm gonna put it in my M1 Finance portfolio. So I'm gonna make some changes to that. I'll show you how I'm doing with my dividends uh, next week. But uh, I really like what I see. So um, you know, thank you for giving me the insight on this. Uh, let me know what you think of this stock. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, I like it. I'm, I actually am a fan of this, and uh, I'm all in. So let me know what you think. Again, if you're new, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Uh, thank you for the insight. Honestly, I, I'm sold on it. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, but looks good to me. So looks like uh, cigarette stocks and tobacco stocks are a thing. Um, there's three of them, Philip Morris, Altria, and British Tobacco. So I'm going to probably have all three. Nice dividend, stable, in demand. People don't care. I mean, that's just how it is. I mean, look, I'm a nurse. I can educate people all I, you know, I can educate people as much as I want. People in healthcare can educate people as much as they want. They don't care. And that's a sad thing, but this is in demand. It's not going anywhere. And, uh, very solid stock. So thank you again and have a good one.